Before kids go back to school, educators, parents, and politicians are locked in a fierce debate about how we discuss race in the classroom. And last night, we showed you how critical race theory is a concept to examine systems of racism in America, not a plan to teach guilt or hate. And we also explained how the phrase is now being used as a political tool. Tonight, investigative reporter Evan Watson looks at the reality of what students are learning. Evan? No public school district in Hampton Roads teaches critical race theory as part of its curriculum, but the state curriculum and lesson plans do outline how to discuss racism and painful moments in history. In Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach City Public Schools is the primary target for parents concerned about their perception of critical race theory. If I hear him breathe that he has been told he should feel guilty about who he is because of the color of his skin, this and is not the time. last time you will hear from me. I will join you and we will be relentless. I reviewed thousands of Virginia Beach school board member emails. They showed the district's debate about critical race theory was first sparked by a book study among one school's middle school teachers. Some teachers read the racial healing handbook, which includes parts criticizing white privilege, white supremacy, adultism, religious privilege, and racism as an embedded part of American culture. After review, Superintendent Aaron Spence said the book won't be used for professional development. It was not taught to students. When we're made aware of those concerns, we address those concerns. But I will say, you know, you can't take an incident and then paint it as if that's the work of the school division. And I think that's part of the playbook here, quite honestly, right? Some Virginia Beach school board members then proposed a resolution to ban critical race theory or any teaching that acknowledges the United States as a systematically racist country. The conversation about CRT or equity discussions in the classroom is far from unique to Virginia Beach, where Dr. Spence says teachers focus on belonging and inclusion as precursors to learning. First of all, at the heart of the matter, what children are learning is our curriculum. In no way, shape or form are we teaching children to feel guilt or to feel shame. It's really the exact opposite. We say to children, you should be proud of and, and feel great about who you are as a human being because you have dignity and worth as a human being. Multiple Hampton Road school districts endorse culturally responsive practices, teaching strategies that celebrate the diversity of students. When it comes to our history, Spence says educators have a responsibility to teach history in an intellectually honest way. And we actually have a controversial topics policy about this that says we really want children to be able to think critically about difficult issues. We want to do that in a way that's responsible. We want to do that in a way that's age appropriate, but it isn't our job to hide things from kids. Each Hampton Roads school division told 13 News Now it follows state curriculum standards when teaching about racism and history. Spence said teachers do look for inclusive materials to support the curriculum with the goal of keeping all students engaged and feeling welcome. Any materials that may include controversial topics are regularly reviewed by administrators. I think there are people who think we're telling kids you must feel this way. And that's not what we do. We really want kids to learn to think for themselves and form their own opinions and, and ask those interesting and difficult questions. Since critical race theory is not a part of public school curriculum, I asked other Hampton Road school divisions how they teach about racism and inequities. The responses from other school leaders are posted in our critical race theory web story on 13newsnow.com. All right, thanks, Evan. Heated discussions about critical race theory have prompted lawmakers and school board members in Virginia and North Carolina and around the country to consider bans of certain ideas in education. Tomorrow at 6, Evan explains why some educators are concerned about a chilling effect for teachers and how the debate is affecting schools as they get ready for in-person learning.